Good afternoon, graduates, staff, faculty, and guests. First off, I want to welcome you, graduates, to the Macaulay alumni family. I've been struggling to find the right words to say to you today, as it's been really hard to accurately capture my immense gratitude for all that this institution has given me. Being a student at Macaulay set me on a path that I don't think I would have followed had I been anywhere else, in part by exposing me to ideas and beliefs that moved me. While I may not have realized it 10 years ago when I was where you are sitting today, well, actually, not quite where you're sitting. It was a slightly smaller room on Central Park West in the 60s near the Macaulay Building. My undergraduate experience cultivated a deep passion for public service in me. Being the beneficiary of so much, I had a strong desire to continually pay it forward through my professional pursuits. And having been the recipient of all that the program had to offer, I felt a certain freedom to follow my passion I might not have otherwise had. I felt that if I could provide to others even a fraction of the opportunity I had been fortunate to be given, I would be able to help make a difference. This is what led me to work for the city over the last 10 years. After I graduated, I was a New York City Urban Fellow for what I thought would be a gap year while I figured out what I wanted to do for graduate school. 10 years, one and a half graduate degrees. As Dr. Ugart said, I'm currently a doctoral student in epidemiology at Columbia. And four positions later, I think it's safe to say it's no longer a gap year. As a result of the guidance, support, and encouragement I received from numerous Macaulay faculty and staff, some of whom are on the stage today, I've been fortunate to continue to follow my passion. You will have many moments in the future where you realize how your time at Macaulay helped to make you who you are and who you will become. Keep this in mind as you continue on your journey, and when possible, find opportunities to pay it forward. In addition to my work in public service, I give back by continuing to stay engaged with Macaulay. I feel invested, both figuratively and literally, in the future of the institution, as it is intrinsically connected to both my past and my future. Today, my goal is to make sure that you all feel welcome and that you feel proud to join a family of 4,000 other Macaulay alumni. We, as a collective, are always here, continually growing, continuing to make our mark on the world, leaving a lasting impression. Perhaps like other extended family, you may not always like us, but you're stuck for life. As you move forward, you can lean on this network of individuals and its collective reputation. If nothing else, we all have one thing in common. Macaulay, or for some of the old timers, the CUNY Honors College, is part of each of our narratives. Over time, each of you will figure out how and when you wanna to contribute to building and supporting this network and the larger Macaulay institution. Wear the pins you receive today with pride. You never know where you'll bump into someone who will recognize that red logo. It is my hope that each of you feels a welcome place in the alumni community. Congratulations on reaching this milestone. <laughs>